Book review. This is Martial Arts for Dummies by Jennifer Lawler. Um, it's an interesting book. I think if you've got somebody in your life who is just getting into a martial art, then this is a pretty decent uh, gift to get them. It's it's not going to go into as much detail as you might like it to. Uh, Jennifer Lawler and I think her co-writers are Taekwondo people. I can hear the booze now. So everything they're writing, obviously when it comes to writing about Taekwondo, they're writing very informative stuff and you can see that they've got a passion for it. Everything else, it kind of feels like they've just grabbed information from elsewhere. Um, it does go into other martial arts, not just Taekwondo, obviously. So we've got uh, the martial arts they go into is Karate, Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Judo, Aikido, Scrimmer, Apkido, Muay Thai, Jeet Kune Do, and Tai Chi. It doesn't go near boxing, amateur wrestling, or either Japanese or Brazilian forms of jiu-jitsu. They just kind of lumber, they just kind of put jiu-jitsu in under judo, which isn't entirely 100% accurate. But, you know, there could have been more done to it. It does, if I was going to be of this nature, and I would say that the Taekwondo people have not put in and the amateur wrestling, the boxing, or the jiu-jitsu, because those styles work very effectively in a real fight, and maybe Taekwondo doesn't so much. I could say that it was a bit of a conspiracy to keep the really effective shit out. However, they have got judo and they've got Muay Thai, and if you've got judo and Thai boxing, you're a pretty well-rounded guy for defending yourself on the street. But again, this doesn't claim to be a book about self-defense. It gives you some pictures on self-defense techniques or on those martial arts techniques which it's always implied are good for self-defense but again martial arts match fighting the self-defense of three different siblings they're from the same family but they're very different individuals it's worth again if you're trying to build a martial arts library it's worth if you're getting it for someone as a gift it's worth it if you don't perhaps know the difference between everything and you'd like a better understanding overall However, for that type of thing, I would recommend don't pay money for this. Get yourself onto Wikipedia. So again, it's, I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed it. But there were certain times when I was reading it going, no, that would never happen. That's, no, come on now. But again, for somebody who's brand new to it or getting into it, I think it would make a pretty decent gift. So for the right person, yes. For the rest of us, no. Still worth reading if you get hold of the copy cheaply or if you get hold of the copy for free. Ask your local library if they can order you one in. They should be able to do that. So, yay or nay, I don't really have strong feelings on this one way or another, which I think in itself is a pretty damning uh, review for what it is. Again, I will I will emphasise that our bud, and um, what I would suggest for our library, is based on martial arts books that will go in that equate very well to self-defence. If you were just going for an overall feel of martial arts, then yeah, it's a great book. For specifically going for self-defense things, not so much. That doesn't mean that it's not a good and enjoyable book. Obviously, people's autobiographies don't really fall into the category of good self-defense technique. You know, if you get mugged, you can't bore someone to death by telling them the life and times of whoever, whoever. But going on a little bit here, it's a decent enough book. Get it if you're interested, but there's nothing in here that you absolutely must get that you can't get elsewhere for free.